What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Shane Rowe. Guys, I am smiling, but it ain't funny. No, I, I, I'm smiling, but it ain't funny, guys. We start at the beginning, I guess. So we lost our second game in a row in a Champions League against Galatasaray, 3-2. And from 3-2, you might think that this was a close game, but no, no, it wasn't. We did damage to ourselves. The first goal, Wilfred Zaha, okay, good, strong player. Any bounce that goes over Onana's head, was that his fault? Not really sure, but let's say we give that one. The problem with that is that we are giving goals away right after we score. And I don't understand. I, we, we just keep giving the goals away right after we score. We did the first goal, we did the second goal. Onana, I'm a big believer in supporting players, but I'm also the first one to tell you when a player is just needs to take a rest. And maybe Onana might need to sit out a couple of games. He needs to clear his head and figure out what he's doing. The second goal, the... Casemiro red card was his fault. I mean, the defense in general is... is. I said during the preseason that we needed to buy a defender. I was hoping that we would get a defender. We got Johnny Evans. And look at us now. We don't even have a left back that we can play. We're playing Amrabat in left back, which I, which, which I do believe that we have a left back in, in Fernandez, and we're just wasting Amrabat's skill over in this false left back role. I mean, the manager's got to take responsibility at some point too for these L's. I don't see why Garnacho isn't starting. If it's even to put Rashford out on the right side. And I know I've said, don't give him a disadvantage by putting him on the right. But, but the goal that, the goal that Hoyland scored this evening came from the, cross from Rashford on the right. To be honest, I would prefer to see Mason Mount out there and then give Garnacho the start on the left. If I'm him, I'm even thinking, what, what more can I do to try and start a game? Because he's deserved it. When he comes onto the pitch, he, he definitely gives you an argument as to why he, he hasn't started a game. Rashford, he looked better than he did the, the last few games, but I don't think he still warranted a start. I don't think he's doing enough. Even with the assists, I don't think it's still enough from a player of, of his standard and, and, and quality. I'm not sure what went wrong, man. The, most, the main thing is that we need to stop giving up goals right after we score a goal. The positive note, we have a player in Rasmus Hoyland and... In my last video, I said that we need to build a team around him. And this game just solidifies it even more. He's one, one heck of a player. And if we can nurture his skill, he can be very, very prolific for us. And if he wins, then the whole team wins. I mean, I'm as frustrated as you guys are, man. Like, leave your comments down below. Let me know how you felt about the game. I was a bit disappointed in just the whole effort in general. I think everything is wrong with the club. From the ownership all the way down to the players' attitudes. Ten Hag, I'm not sure what my opinion on Ten Hag is. You give me yours. Let me know in the comments. Um, how do you feel about his tactics so far? Are they effective anymore? My problem is that we're still creating a ton of chances. We create chances left and right. The manager can only do so much. He can only tell you how to get inside of the opposition's area. And we do this. We do this quite frequently. But when we get into the last third of the field, we just cannot finish the chances. And... We have to defend better. We have to figure out how we're going to stop these goals from going in. Our goals are starting to improve, especially with a player like Rasmus. And we saw this tonight. But if we can't stop players from scoring goals, I don't know, guys. The whole game just felt underperformed. Like, the only two players that I can say played 
at any high standard was probably Mount and Hoyland. Casemiro minus the the red. He was doing something. Hannibal missing. I don't know, guys. Something's got to change. Something's got to change. You guys let me know. But we move on. <sighs> Next game is against Brentford in the Premier League. Maybe we can pick up some points there. Get our at least our Premier League season back on track. But yeah, Whew. it's going to be a long season. Let's see if we can get some good news from the club being sold. And then maybe we can have some hope for the January transfer window. I wouldn't bet my house on it. It's not even 10 games. It's not even 10 games fully. And the season is almost looking like a write-off. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a bit dejected from this one. This one, this one hurts. This one cut deep, you know. It's not even the third game in the Champions League and we're looking like we're already out of the Champions League. Yeah, we can go away and get some points, but you trying to go to Turkey. Anyways, we're going to leave it there for today. Like the video, comment down below. Please let me know how you guys feel. Vent to me. You got to get it out, man. You can't let it sit and fester. This is why I started the channel, you know? I needed my own way to relieve my frustrations and vent let me know what you guys think comment down below like the video and don't forget to subscribe and if you've been rocking with your boy on this painful journey for this long i really do appreciate you i'm laughing but it ain't funny but god bless you and ggmu